Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the differences between magnets and vanets, guys. Okay, so magnets is nothing but your mobile, right? Whereas vanets is your vehicle, right? Yes. So if you understand the cost, so what is the cost of a normal mobile phone, guys? It is really cheap. You can say you cannot say it's cheap, but it's a bit low cost when compared to a vehicle, right? So if you want to buy a Tesla car, how much it will cost, guys? It is a lot, right? Yes. So when it compares to vanets, it's really cheap, right? Yes. So it is cheap and it's expensive. The topology which we are using is a slow, whereas here it is a bit fast because everything should be done really fastly. As it is, you can indirectly also you can say, as it is a cheap, it will be slow. As it is expensive, it will be fast, right? Similarly, mobility it is a low. You cannot go at high speeds to have a proper thing. So whereas here you can go at high speeds and mobility is also possible, easy, right? Yes. Similarly, here bandwidth. So the bandwidth as it is a cheap and it is a slow, the bandwidth is also low, guys. Whereas the expensive one will be having the highest bandwidth okay so in thousands of kbs and hundreds of kbs the range is also directly proportional range is up to 100 meters and range is up to 500 meters reliability is medium and reliability is high multiple hop routing is available and weekly available because here it is a cellular thing so in between cellular things the data transfer transmission is required because one person wants to send a message to some other so in that way whereas in vanets it is vehicular right so in between two or three vehicles in that particular region only your front vehicle and back vehicle need your info why some other vehicle which is located at 500 meters apart do it need information no in that way that is the reason why it is weakly available the multiple hoppings okay here the movement is completely random so basically you can walk into your house you can go anywhere whereas in vanet so it's a vehicle right so it should go on road or at a normal surface right yes okay so here we will be using some ultrasonic or some other things here we will be using gps radars and all those things okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea about the differences also so now i think we are done with this unit also so in the next lecture we will be going through some important topics after that we will be moving on to the unit 5 of mobile computing guys okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea on all the concepts that we have discussed till now so in the next lecture we will be discussing about the traditional tcp and all the tcp concepts guys okay so what are the advancements to a work in mobiles okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching